Alright girls, so today for you I have my October favorites, like I've mentioned before so many times in every single one of my favorites videos. I do not do favorites videos every single month, it's just some months I have some products that I really really like to show you girls, or that I've just been really obsessing over that I just can't keep it in. So today for my October favorites, I just have strictly beauty products, so if you're going to comment down below me in comments about how I just do beauty products, then click the little X in the button. Click the little X in the button. Click the little X. You know. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so I just want to kick it off just right away. Just no holding back. Just start off with product number one. Okay, so product number one, I have my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. This came out so long ago. And why I'm just mentioning my favorites now, I do not know. But this has just been fabulous lately. I've been creating this everyday smoky eye look that's kind of natural. I just use Booty Call, Tease, Snake Bite, and Blackout. And this is a fabulous palette. If you have not tried this out, I really do recommend it. It is expensive, but it is definitely worth all the hype. And I just love, love, love this. It's perfect for traveling because it has a, like a firm closure, a big mirror, so many different possibilities for different looks. This is just a, a fabulous, fabulous palette, and I recommend it to anyone that has been debating on getting it or holding back about getting it. Just go out and get it. Okay, for a base, I don't usually like these, but I really am in love with this one. And this is a Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. This is just a perfect champagne-y kind of color, and I just really, really love it. And it's just perfect for creating a nice natural look, or you can also use this for a smoky look. I really do love the staying power of this. It does last all day, and it does not crease, and the color still looks as vibrant as it did as I first put it on in the morning. So if you're looking for a good base, definitely go to your drugstore and check these out. These are like $6, $7, and they are definitely, definitely worth it. I guess sticking to the eye theme, I will do with eyeliners because I have two. I have a liquid and a pencil. I'll start with pencil because usually I hate pencil liners. But I've finally found a pencil liner that will actually stay on my tight line and my waterline. This is ridiculous. So first I have my Sephora Pantone Universe Eyeliner in the color... Stretch Limo, which is just a dark matte black. I am in love with this eyeliner. It does not budge, and it stays on all day, and it gives me the blackest line. Super thick, super beautiful. I just really, really like this. Um, like I've mentioned before, the stain power is phenomenal. So if you can ever try to manage to get your hands on this pencil, definitely do it, because you will not regret it. For a liquid eyeliner, which is a drugstore, which is a dollar, which of course would be an e.l.f., the e.l.f. liquid liner is actually phenomenal. Like honestly, the brush is a little bit curvy, or at least mine was, and it just gives me a very nice black line. And this like does not budge, does not smudge, does not flake throughout the day. It is amazing. Like, and I just have been definitely loving this. So if you're needing a black eyeliner, go check this one out. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so for my last eye product I have is a mascara. I think I've mentioned this in a couple of my previous favorites, but it's my Benefit Bad Gal Lash. I'm actually almost done this mascara. Like, there is barely any left. Probably another month, month and a half use of this. But this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. This lengthens, volumizes, defines, separates, does not clump my lashes whatsoever. And it's just amazing. Like, it is expensive. Like, I will give it that. It's about $25 for a mascara. But you will not be disappointed. Like, honestly, go out and buy this if you've been wanting to buy it or trying to, like, you've been trying to make yourself buy it, but you just cannot do it. Just, you know, take the extra few steps and definitely go try it out because it's fabulous. Like, trust me on this one. I know my mascaras. Try this mascara. It's a little expensive, but that's okay. It's a great mascara. Now moving on to face products. I have three. Let's start off with a foundation since winter is approaching. <sighs> Which means I can actually apply a little bit more makeup than summer, so I don't have to worry about sliding off my face. But I have been trying out my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation, and I am in love. It is not a complete matte finish, so if you do want a matte finish look, this probably wouldn't be the best option for you. But you can apply mattifying powder over this. But this does have a little bit of sparkle and shimmer in it, but not like chunks of glitter. But this will give you a nice dewy and sparkly and glowy finish to your face. Which I kind of like for winter because you don't want a complete matte face for winter because then you kind of just look like a ghost. Or like a snowman. Snowflake. You know what I'm trying to say? But this is just a fabulous foundation. Um, it stays on all day. 
I love how it's in a pump and it's a really nice pump too. Like this is just an overall phenomenal foundation from the packaging to the product to just everything about it. It is just so wonderful and I just really, really like it. Okay, so for a concealer, I have been in love with my MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer. Um, just looks like this. I definitely would suggest you try because it's just amazing. It stays on all day. I know MAC is prone to give people like breakouts and everything, but I have not had a problem with it so far. It gives me a perfect matte finish. It covers any perf imperfections, like I'm talking acne scarring, little pimples, just little, little spots on your face. It will cover absolutely everything, and it gives you a matte finish, and it's just an amazing concealer. I love the consistency, how it's so thick, and it just really does feel like a heavy-duty concealer. If you are in the market for a new concealer, definitely go check out the MAC Studio Sculpt. My last face product, I have a setting spray. I've been recently trying this out, and I'm still kind of on the fence about it, but so far it's pretty good, and it's by Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. I just got the travel size, and this is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray. I'm trying to use it different ways, like applying it before makeup, after my makeup, but certain it just after my makeup. Different ways to see what the better use for it would be. And so far, I've been loving putting it on before my makeup and after makeup because it really does mattify my whole face and this actually does a wonderful job at keeping my face under control and free from oils it does give you like a little bit of oil to show through but not like super oily like dripping oils if go try out the Arinke case and spray D slick wonderful this is not a product okay girl so that's all the products I have to show you for today so thumbs up if you actually really do like favorites videos, and I might start doing them every month if I get enough thumbs up. And also just comment, subscribe, check my channel, check my other videos, and all that stuff. So yeah. Bye, girls.